Hello everyone, my name is Kitetsu and welcome back to my channel. So first things first, I really do apologise for the fact it's taken me so long to get a video up. I've had the week from hell to be honest, I've had all of this coursework I'm doing and yeah I've been working till about half ten in the evening every single night and that's like from the minute I get home from work. Then on top of that I've had all these technical issues and my recording software stopped working and it's been an absolute pain trying to get it all working again. But I've made sure that tonight I had time to make this video because how could I not talk about the Ideneth Deepkin being revealed finally. So we've just had Adepticon and yeah there's all this 40k stuff which obviously I'm not going to talk about here and then we had a really cool video revealing the Ideneth. We've also got some pictures, a bit of uh, death stuff, shade spire news etc etc but to be honest in this video I literally just want to talk about the Ideneth. What I've done is everything from this video and these pictures here I have put together and kind of arranged them not in the order they appear in the video but kind of grouped them into the different units just so I can give you some thoughts on them. First of all let's just have a quick read of this. For Warhammer Age of Sigma fans talk in the mortal realms of late has been dominated by one question just who or what are the Ideneth Deepkin? Well wonder no longer. That is exactly true because they kind of, I don't know if they leaked them accidentally or if they were trying to build the mystery of this faction. But yeah, we have definitely been wondering for a couple of weeks who exactly this faction are. So a little bit of lore information, they've been hidden for centuries beneath the oceans of the mortal realms. They finally surfaced a magnificent and terrifying race of soul stealing reavers with mastery of strange magics of the seas. So automatically this is probably telling us a little bit about how they operate on the table because they are clearly going to use their magic to allow creatures like this to exist on land. Colossal sea beasts, here we go even more evidence, living tidal waves, predatory shoals of fish, elves riding sharks and giant turtles with bolt throwers. So it's all pretty exciting and the models look great. To be honest, let's just get straight into the video and have a look at all of these figures. To be honest, they weren't what I was expecting at all. And at first I wasn't sure if I was like over the moon with excitement or a little bit disappointed. Partly because of all the rumours we've had and I guess I was expecting something maybe a little bit more magical and uh, elegant perhaps but the more I look at the figures the more I absolutely love them and the more excited I am for this faction as a whole. What I really want to do in this video is I don't want to give you a really massive long detailed look at absolutely everything here. I kind of just want to give you my first impressions and talk through what I like maybe what I don't like and yeah it's just a chance to kind of group all these figures together and look at them in a little bit more detail. So first things first what we're looking at here is the infantry and probably one of the first things you will notice is that none of them have any eyes. Now I'm assuming this is due to the fact that they were created by Teclis and Teclis is one of the gods of Haish, one of the elven gods at least and he rules Haish with Tyrion and Tyrion is actually blind as well as far as I can remember at least and Teclis is his eyes so I'm guessing somehow they're playing on the lore of the fact that Teclis is this great visionary kind of seer and therefore I'm wondering if like Tyrion most of the faction is blind and they are going to see through the eyes of their leaders because it's not every unit or model in this army that doesn't have eyes it seems to just basically be the infantry so aesthetically they do actually look really cool and they're highly detailed I absolutely love the kind of runes that are carved into their heads we have to remember that they are a failure of Teclis these elves kind of went wrong when he was trying to recreate a faction of elves for the realm of light and because he didn't like them or perhaps they didn't like the way he looked at them as these failures, they basically fled and disappeared under the oceans. At first I thought we were looking at several different units every time they showed up because we had the guy with the sword and then we had all these spears or glaives or scythes, whatever you want to call them. But to be honest, I'm thinking that there is only perhaps two different units of them. Those who are armed with hand weapons and those who are armed with bows. So basically, the two diagonally opposite pictures here are I believe the same unit unless we are going to have a separate grouping of ones with swords because if you look at these guys in the background they've all got the scythes too and they appear to be these exact figures here. 
Then this one down here is obviously the arch guys and we get a better look at those in another picture in a minute. Um, this guy we've got to give a special mention to. He's obviously some kind of special character who I'm guessing will buff the power of your battle line troops. You get to see a slightly zoomed in picture of him as well and he has this amazing looking octopus wrapped around him and I've noticed that the octopus is holding a knife in one hand and a club in the other so that's pretty awesome the actual man himself is just holding this scroll and some kind of pen or quill or whatever it is and he's obviously writing things down he kind of reminds me a lot of the herald of nurgle model that came out in december so i'm wondering if he's going to play a pretty similar role on the battlefield now immediately some people have said why have these guys got bow and arrows you're not going to be able to fire bows underwater but the answer to that is really obvious and that's that they don't spend all their time underwater if not they've just kind of come up from the depths so they need to be armed appropriately okay so the next thing we get to see is this particular character here who was standing on top of the scenery that we saw in the teaser so i'm guessing it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that this kit is actually going to be released as something we can buy and stick on the table and i imagine it will probably have its own rules with it as well there is this mysterious looking figure here in the background and although there's quite a lot of stuff that has a head crest like that that was shown in the video I can't actually quite pinpoint what that is if it even is a figure so if anyone has any theories about that particular thing there that's obscured I would be interested to hear that in the comments down below but yeah then we have this guy here and again I'm thinking that this guy along with perhaps this person and even the guy we were looking at before if they're all kind of either spell casters or some kind of minor hero characters that are basically buffing the characters around them. I'm not sure if they are going to be actual characters. The fact that this guy is holding a scroll and this guy is holding a banner kind of instrument makes me think that they're not going to be kind of named characters as such but they could be. I guess we'll find out. And if you look at this helmet on this particular guy here it looks an awful lot like Mistweaver Psy. So I'm guessing that that particular model is definitely going to be part of this faction. But yep, I do like the detail. I do like the sculpts. I do like these crazy fish and all of that stuff around. I think this blurred out figure there is this character here. And then in the background, you've got an archer, which uh, is basically one of these guys here. Like you can see the uh, quivers on the back there. This picture was from the community website and it just shows you a slightly more detailed look at the archers and the hero character, as well as some of these sharks, which we're about to see in a minute too. Next, we saw these particular models, which is basically two. We've got this lady here, and we've got this guy here, who's riding some sort of crazy seahorse thing. I must admit, of the two figures, I actually really, really like this one. And you know, I was saying I kind of wanted the faction to be a bit more mystical and magical and elegant and elf-like. I think this figure more embodies everything that I was kind of hoping they would be. But then at the same time, I kind of like the aesthetic they've gone for too. They definitely look like they mean business. In fact, they almost look like some kind of crazy vampire counts army. But yeah, I really do like them. We've also got this thing in the background and I can't quite make out what that is, but it looks like there's the possibility it's another unit that we haven't seen yet again let me know your thoughts down below but yeah this guy looks pretty cool too he definitely looks quite evil i'm guessing that's what they were going for and he also looks quite piratey with that eye patch but yeah i definitely prefer this model this one's pretty cool like i'm not completely mad on it but maybe it will grow on me over time or when we get a better look at it but i'm guessing these two are far more likely to be actually named characters especially this one but you know we'll just have to wait and see so next we get these strange eel-like creatures and the first time I watched the video I didn't actually notice but there are at least three different variants. In fact I'd say there's two variants where one of them can be broken down into a further two types. We've got basically these three here which are the kind of eel-like ones where they've got the more streamlined bodies 
slightly different faces and very small fins here at the front and then we've got these guys here which look considerably bigger they've got like tail fins and the front fins are considerably larger and the face looks very different these look altogether a bit more aggressive whereas these look a bit more like more like a fast attack unit i guess i love the fact that there's bolt throwers on the top of these as well like that's a particularly cool touch but as for the more eel like ones we've got the ones that look a bit more spartan with these big sort of centurion head crests and spears they look especially cool and i'm guessing that when people were talking about these kind of atlantean seahorse riding elves i'm guessing they might have actually seen these particular ones which gave them that particular description but yeah then we've also got the ones here which have got swords and different helmets too but again like these look very cool but at first when I looked at them I wasn't that keen I wasn't sure something about them just didn't seem quite right at first and I think basically to me that boiled down to the preconceptions I had of what this army was going to be like I don't know really the more I look at them I think the more excited I'm actually getting and the more I really do like them, especially these guys down here. I mean, again, the, the things they're riding are a tiny bit funky because, again, like, a lot of people are just picking up on the fact that they're riding in the air as if they're swimming in the sea. But I'm guessing somehow they are going to use either magic or it's going to be explained in their lore. We just have to wait and see. And I really just hope they don't do a bad job of explaining that and make it feel too gimmicky. But, oh yeah, this picture here just shows a uh, zoom in of the uh, guys with the spears and the cool head crests but they definitely do look cool next we get to see one of my absolute favorite models and this one is really cool like i have no idea how big it is judging by the uh, battle line elf down there it looks like he absolutely towers over him but yeah he's basically wearing a cloak made of water so i'm guessing this guy is going to be a particularly powerful sorcerer of some kind like absolutely guaranteed to be a proper named character with some backstory that's what i'm hoping at least there are some rumors online with like an actual name for this character i can't remember what it is at the moment i'm sure you guys can tell me down below but just this massive like cloak made of water with these shoals of fish swimming around them it definitely looks insanely cool and i have no idea how much this is going to cost like i said it's very hard to gauge a sense of scale but he certainly looks pretty big and he kind of looks like he's more than just a normal mortal elf but yeah he looks very very cool there's another little view of him and in fact in this picture you do get a slightly better sense of scale so he's definitely larger in body than a normal person i'm pretty interested to see what else we find out about this particular character because he does look cool like i'm definitely a fan more of this style of elves he reminds me a bit more of the kind of high elf style i guess and yeah then the last thing we see is these crazy massive turtles which kind of fly into battle with these giant crossbows on their backs or harpoon guns whatever they are and again it's another unit where at first i was a bit unsure whether i liked them i kind of liked the concept of these giant crossbows and harpoon guns on the top i guess it was the turtle itself that was troubling me at first i guess based on the teaser image the other day that we had i was hoping for something a little bit more maybe kraken like i know it's perhaps a little bit too pirates of the caribbean but i think that could have been cooler just something massive with uh, loads of tentacles on it i think would have been a really awesome kit i guess when i've tried to put aside what my expectations were the actual kit itself is still really great and i do like it again i just really hope they can explain properly how these things are floating through the air and i'm definitely quite keen on getting a better look at these models and i think as as amazing as they all look i think ultimately it depends on just how much they are going to cost we also get another good look at the sharks here with the two elves riding them and i am a big fan of them to be honest like i said they've grown on me i think there are going to be people who are absolutely over the moon with this reveal there are probably going to be some who are disappointed i was initially like super excited and obviously for someone who actually makes videos on warhammer all the time and i do these speculative videos and rumor videos i guess the problem with me was that i've put so much time and thought into thinking about what these elves are actually going to look like that they're very different to what I was expecting and therefore I think you know I think you can overthink things and I think you can over predict and I definitely think that's what I've done here but to be honest if you actually just take the models on face value they look really incredible I definitely like where they're going with them I just hope there's all this really cool lore to back them up as well I think I've got another yeah here we go there's another two images off the community website that just shows the turtles in a little bit more detail I must admit I'm a much bigger fan of the way they've painted this with the silver and blue than uh, that kind of corally colour. 
But yeah, basically I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about this army. It's always great to have a big reveal. It's always really cool to have a new faction come to Age of Sigma. I don't think I mentioned, but this guy here also looks like Mistweaver Sai. And obviously he's beating some drums. So I'm guessing that, again, there's going to be a bit of a buff thing going on with this. A little bit like a Cauldron of Blood from Daughters of Cain. But yeah, anyway, there we have it. We've got this cool new turtle coming out. We've got this great looking character that I'm particularly interested in. We've got sharks and kind of weird eel-like creatures. We've got all of these new leader units and obviously the battle line stuff as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you pleased with the reveal? What do you think about them being like eyeless? Because that's quite a bold choice from Games Workshop. I'm guessing it at least solves that issue of the fact that many, many people absolutely suck at painting eyes. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. And obviously I will be back at some point to talk more about them. This is only my first kind of look at these images and there could be more stuff hidden in the background that I haven't noticed or more details I haven't seen. So if I do, obviously I will make a follow up video. And the second I know more, I will talk about that too. And yeah, there was obviously loads of other Age of Sigmar related content in that article. So I will be talking more about that as soon as I can too. Someone also suggested I do a playthrough of Vermintide 2. And I actually really do want to upload a little bit of that on my channel just as a bonus of something completely different. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. I've already recorded some of it and it's fairly ready to go. I just need to do a little bit of editing. But yeah, don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. You can support me on Patreon, the link is in the description, and, and I will see you guys really soon.